Thanks for watching the fumble. Ugh, it does not stop. Matt Barnes and Derek Fisher are still beefing and it's getting ugly. All right, Fisher recently gave an interview and said, if the worst thing someone has to say about me is that I'm going out with a woman who used to be married to this guy I worked with for a year, six years ago, psh, cool. I mean, to me that comment is innocent. I don't think he was taking any shots, but uh, Matt Barnes was triggered. He wrote this and blasted Fisher on social media. Listen, man, I got some extra time right now since I'm on a flight. Let's put this to bed once and for all. Right hand to God. I left G July 2014. Then I divorced her January 1st, 2015. So this rat didn't steal anything. She was single and free to do her. Fast forward to October 2015, I got a call from one of my sons that this clown was at my house. So I went to check the situation out. After he caught the first right hand and hit the sliding glass door, people grabbed me and he ran through my house screaming, begging and pleading to talk. That night, unfortunately, I didn't have time to talk. I had a lady friend at my condo in the marina waiting on me. Once I left, this man called my team at the time, Grizzlies, and told on me. He called the NBA and told on me. Then when the cops showed up, he filed a restraining order on me. I did what any real man would do if a former friend slash teammate was at the house he pays for and didn't know about it. So if we're gonna talk about the situation, let's at least be honest. No need to talk tough or act like a G now, cause like Pac said, you and I both know what's going on. Nothing in this world comes before my kids' happiness and safety, period. And FYI, you didn't get fired for getting beat up. You got fired cause your team at the time walked all over you and didn't respect you. In other words, you couldn't coach. With that said, peace and happiness. Good lord! All right, to make current matters worse for Fisher, someone just broke into his house, stole a ton of his jewelry, including his five NBA championship rings. I'm gonna leave that right there. You tell me what you think is going on in the comments below. For all things sports, subscribe before you go. Click that Fumble logo right there, tap the bell so you don't miss any of our content, and I'll see you soon.